So it's like someone was mad at Adobe and decided to score this game unfairly. Usually the mini games you're maxing out at 3,200 with no sweat. But no. now, I'm not even no. averaging 3,000 eggs, which is a little embarrassing because it's a kid's game. It's a mini game. It should be something easy, but no, 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 no. But you come to the right place. So in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to score above 3,000 eggs in your mini games. So if I help you out in any way, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Red Card 200. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here, okay? So I'm going to help you understand the point system according to the egg. The green egg is 25 eggs, okay? The blue one is 50 eggs and the gold one is worth 75 eggs and then you get 800 just for playing the game. So it's all about how many eggs you collect and which ones you collect. So my very first tip here is to always keep moving, okay? You don't want to just go for the gold egg. You want to go for every egg, plus you want to gather that gold egg, okay? So you always want to keep yourself moving. Never stop, because if you stop, you're going to waste valuable time that you could be collecting different eggs, and then you could easily go back to the first one. Let me give you a good example of that here. So this is a good example of what I'm talking about. You see that the gold egg's in a hatch? I don't stay there. I go to this other go egg, I wait for this green one, and then I go back to the gold one, and then I'm traveling over to different places, okay? I'm never settling just for one egg to spawn, even though I know it's going to spawn. And if I'm, like, if you have a second for it to spawn, you want to wait for it, but if not, you want to keep yourself moving to go back to that spot. Check out my score. Not bad, right? And remember, green eggs, 25, blue, 50, yellow, 75 and 800 just for playing the game you can calculate the score and you'll see that it does come out to 3,000 eggs so tip number two is to make yourself a trail figure out where you're going and where you're going after you already head to your location and you basically keep traveling in order to co keep collecting eggs remember first tip never stop moving okay last tip is to spot those gold eggs from a distance okay and know that they're going to spawn so you could easily just go back to it and collect your 75 eggs just for that golden egg okay remember just don't settle for it you want to figure out where you're going with the trail and then you just got to keep moving okay game is hard man it's not an easy one okay especially if you want to get the maximum amount of eggs every game you know you got to put your game face on and you got to concentrate you got to push everything aside and be like, all right, let's go, guys. We're going to go ahead and collect big time eggs every session. OK, and, you know, you always want to have fun. OK, one thing about it I noticed is that the max is usually three thousand two hundred. I scored more than that. So is there a limit? I don't think so. OK, they made the game hard enough and they said, oh, let's not put a limit, guys. All right, but there you go, guys. Those are my three tips I could share with you. Hopefully, I help you out in any way. Hopefully, I collected some eggs for you. If I help you out in any way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you guys.